for anybody that doesn't know in our shop, we're gonna show how to set up this fence for ripping and where it should be at for cross cutting versus ripping. So. This fence slides along this rail. You sight down this face of this rail to your dimension that you want to get. So if you want to shoot for four inches, you sight down it until you get four inches and you lock it down. If you want to micro adjust after your fine tuning, you can turn this knob and I believe one full rotation is 1 16th. So I'll get it right where I want it to be. Now, if I'm making rip cuts, I like to have the fence past the blade. That way, when I'm making my cut, after I'm past the blade, it still has support. Because what you don't want to do, if you have it back here, once you get past this fence, you no longer have support and you're going to have a crooked rip. So in ripping, you always want to have the fence past the blade for ripping purposes. Ripping is this cut. For cross cutting, if I was going to cross cut this, and I was going to use this as my stop for cross cutting, I'd want to move this back roughly an inch behind the leading edge of the blade. And the reason for that is, after I make my cut, I don't want this off fall trapped between the blade and the fence, because it hypothetically could get pinched and kicked back. Let me demonstrate to you real quick. Now this scrap is not getting pushed or pinched by the blade. That's important because if the fence was there, it hypothetically could get pinched against the blade and kick back. So that's for the cross cut. Let me show you the rip. support of the material after it exited the blade so I still have an accurate rip width. The other trick I want to show you if you come around this side of the camera and point straight on. When you're pushing the scrap through or your cut through make sure you're pushing on the left half of the piece. So the physics say if I push here it'll keep it against the fence. You want the leading edge to be against the fence, and by pushing here, you're helping push it against the fence. If you pu start to push here, it'll come away from the fence. So, small tip, and that's how we're gonna do cross-cutting and ripping with the fence on the right side of the blade.